Hello everyone, uh, welcome you to part 3 of the Our Prayer and I want to thank God for your life because it's been an amazing journey and season because uh, a lot has been happening but uh, just a few words to let somebody understand. According to the word of God and he says they call unto me and I will answer you, show you great and mighty things that you know not in about. There are so many things hidden. In the dark places that you don't even know and you need to be more closer to God and for him to review to the help of the Holy Spirit to review so many things. Listen, that thing you are chasing for out there is in the hands of the Lord. If you understand God's words and plan that he has for you, God wants you to prosper. He wants you to succeed. Yes, you must go through that thing you're going through. But like I say, it's just refinement. It's just to refine you, to align you in the path of God's word. So, if you can seek him more, and the only thing that can review those things that God has in the secret place for you, in the dark places, is when you begin to be hungered to know him. You begin to get more closer to know about his word. A need for God in your life. You know, understand? So you need God more than he needs you. So for you to possess this land, that the promised land he has for you, the promises that God has for you, you must be hungered for him. You must be willing to be dedicated to his word. And that's the only thing that will qualify you to possess what God has for you. And the truth about that is, is we must be hurried because there is no time. Time wait for nobody. You don't need anybody to help you carry the burden you carry, the Lord. But the only person who can take that off you is Jesus. So if you understand that, please don't delay, don't waste time. Because the word, the way the system of the word is going to be, listen, nobody can predict what is going to happen next. But I pray that God will open your eyes of understanding that you will begin to walk in the right channel for his glory to be seen in your life. Because you can afford to fail. Because when you fail, <laughs> the ones coming behind you, it's going to affect them. And you don't want that to happen to you. So God bless you. I pray that this week, may God enkindle you with his glory. Mm. Covering you as an emblem of fire. Protect you from the hands of the enemy. May his presence surpass anything that has to be iniquity around you. Anything that has to be addition around you. I pray today in the name of Jesus. May you be safe. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.